San Francisco Ovan, and it is such a pleasure to be here with you at the Rogers Memorial Library Concert Series. Uh, today I'm going to play a guitar recital. Um, it's approximately 40 to 45 minutes long in four sections, uh, each about 10 minutes long. Um, and I will be playing uh, first music from Cuba by the composer Leo Brower. Um, he's 81 years old now. He was born in 1939, and I had the honor of playing for a tribute concert for him at the Manus College of Music in New York City last year. Um, Maestro Brower has written many, many beautiful, incredible pieces for guitar, guitar and voice, guitar and orchestra, all kinds of uh, chamber music uh, combinations. Um, so I'm going to play four pieces by him, and the first piece is called Danza del Altiplano, which means Dance of the High Plains, and it um, draws from influences from the Andes, from especially from Bolivia, and you'll hear panpipes, some drums, and even some birds. Here's Danza del Altiplano by Leo Brower. <laughs> The next piece I'd like to play by Leo Brower is called Ojos Brujos, or Bewitching Eyes, which uh, was uh, a love song, um, or is a love song, uh, composed by Gonzalo Roy, who's a Cuban composer, a popular music uh, composer, and uh, this is Leo Brower's take on uh, Ojos Brujos. <laughs> Thank you. 
the next piece I'd like to play uh, by Leo Brower is uh, Cancion de Cuna, which means cradle song. And again, this is based on a popular uh, tune. This one is a children's, uh, not a children's tune, but it's a song that um, a lot of moms in South America sing to their kids of, you know, sleep little baby. It's basically you're trying to cajole your um, baby to sleep and the baby doesn't want to go to sleep. So this is Cancion de Cuna by Leo Brower. Last piece by Leo Brown that I'd like to play today is called uh, Danza Caracteristica. And Danza Caracteristica means characteristic dance, but it is also based on a children's song, and it's a playful song. The title of the original children's song is Quítate de la Acera, which means get off the sidewalk. So this is Danza Caracteristica by Leo Brower. <laughs> Thank you. 
from Cuba, we're now going to go to the music from France. And I'm going to feature two composers, which are Eric Satie and Claude Debussy. Um, the first composer, Eric Satie, he was um, an iconoclast. And he, uh, like all iconoclasts, did not like uh, following, uh, I guess, what was established. And uh, he wrote uh, a lot of different pieces of music uh, for solo piano, for um, orchestra. He even wrote a piece that has a typewriter and a gun in it. Uh, I mean, obviously not a real gun, but uh, it has a gunshot in it. Uh, and it's actually a very beautiful piece. Um, and I remember um, when I was reading about him, one of the quotes that he has is that a composer shouldn't take any more time from his audience than necessary. So I thought that was a very interesting take on music. So I'm going to play two pieces by him. First is um, Divnapati Number no. One, which was originally for solo piano, and uh, this is my transcription. The next piece I'm going to play by uh, Eric Satie is uh, No Cien, number one, and that's also for piano. And what's interesting about this piece is that um, it does not have any time signature for those uh, of you who are musicians, uh, meaning there is no specific time signature to be played in, uh, such as 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, or 6-8. number one by Eric Satie.
third piece from France that I want to play is by uh, the composer uh, Claude Debussy. Uh, he composed uh, for piano mostly, and uh, this is a piece of his called The Girl with the Flaxen Hair. So it's a very playful piece. Um, I think uh, it was written for a niece of his. Um, but um, this is uh, The Girl with the Flaxen Hair by Claude Debussy. Actually, the next section that we're going to go is to Spain um, because we're going to play music by Federico Moreno Torroba, which was one of the first composers of the 20th century to respond to the great Spanish guitarist uh, Andres Segovia for new compositions. Uh, Andres Segovia brought the guitar onto the concert stage because um, in the early 20th century, uh, the concert stage was dominated by violin, piano, and... Uh, uh, opera and uh, he made it possible to have the guitar on the stage but he also knew he needed new compositions for the guitar that they couldn't just continue to be the same compositions that uh, were written 100 200 years ago so he approached many composers and one of them was Federico Moreno Torobo who wrote various pieces for him and uh, the piece I'm going to play is called Suite Castellana or Cas you know S Castilian Suite and it's in three movements the first movement is fandanguillo. Uh, the second movement is arada, which means uh, fandanguillo is a um, is actually a flamenco form. Arada means uh, like when you're plowing uh, the earth for a farm, so it's it's kind of sowing. So you, you'll hear a very I, uh, to me it sounds very placid, like you're you know working uh, or maybe like right after you've plowed and you're taking a little rest. And then the third uh, movement is danza or dance. And again, the uh, outer two movements are, are uh, based on flamenco forms. So this is Sui Castellana by Federico Moreno Toroba. <laughs> Thank you. 
set of pieces are from the country of Haiti and they're by the composer I just discovered Franz Cassus or um, uh, that's spelled C-A-S-S-E-U-S -S -E and um, last year I was asked to play uh, in a Bastille Day concert and the uh, presenter at the time asked me to play some French and Haitian music so um, I looked at uh, Franz Cassus uh, works and I found many many pieces that were beautiful so i picked three of them uh and these three are all based on voodoo dances uh voodoo as in the uh spiritual um i guess spiritual religion and um the first piece is called petro and petro is the aggressive force in nature um, now that's not a negative thing. It's uh, it's also the force that moves everything. So it doesn't have to be aggressive, meaning you know violent. It's just uh, the the f uh, movement or force or movement. It could be creative. Uh, it could also be destructive. So it doesn't really have. Um, let's uh, from what I can tell, it doesn't have a value of bad or good. It's just an the the aggressive force in nature. So this is Petro by Franz Cassou.
Uh, the second piece by Franz Cassou that I'd like to uh, play is um, Yan Valu. And a Yan Valu is a dance that is played for the snake goddess. Um, and uh, I think it's very apropos this composition because you hear a lot of the slithering and sliding of the snake. So this is Yan Valu uh, dedicated to the snake goddess. <laughs> That was Jan Valu, and before I play my last piece for today, um, I would like to thank Penny Rice so much for um, asking me to play on your concert series. It's always such a pleasure and an honor to be here and to share music and beauty and the guitar with you all. Uh, the last piece I'm going to play by Franz Cassou is his uh, piece called Dance of the Hunzis, and that's spelled H-O-U-N-S-I-E-S. Hunzis, Dance of the Hunzis, and this is a dance that is um, performed by the initiates to becoming priests and priestesses in the Voodoo religion. So it's a trance-like dance, and, um, and I guess that's it. So this, this is um, Dance of the Hunzis by Franz Cassou. And thank you so much, and have a great rest of the day.
so much once again. Thank you, Penny, and thank you to you all for listening. Um, and actually, I have one more piece that I think would be nice um, to clean the palate uh, of such drama. And I'm going to play uh, An Oldie But a Goodie by Francisco Sariga, who is a Spanish composer uh, who lived in the 19th century. And this is a piece of his called Recuerdos de la Alhambra, which means memories of Alhambra, which are memories of the sprawling gardens that the Moors built in the 13th century in Granada, Spain. And it's still there to this day, uh, the, the gardens. So this is Recuerdos de la Alhambra by Francisco Sariga. <laughs> 